I said this before in a previous video, but I'm going to say it again as the holiday draws closer. I have been reminded by my indigenous friends and also by the people of Palestine that going to holidays and proceeding through the holiday season this year as if it is business as usual is one of the more fucked up things you can do. Now you can't say you don't know what America is capable of doing. You can't say you don't know it. You've seen it. You've been watching it. And the holidays are not base in like some game of freeze tag we're all playing. The holidays are part of the engine of this country. They are part of the engine of capitalism. They are how we continue to feed the beast. Our money that we have worked hard for that they barely gave us any of to begin with, right? It is how they meet their expected numbers. It is how they continue to give money to things we don't want them to be doing, okay? And furthermore, for your own particular family, what is going to actually get their attention more, okay? Is it you maybe saying a couple of words about what's happening in Gaza right now? Like, is that is that it? Or is it you being like, hey, I know that you support that country in the Middle East. I know that you do. And I know that you have been giving them your money and that you, you haven't said a thing about the evil shit that they're doing right now. I am not going to sit across the table from you. If you would like to discuss this, call me and let's talk about it. I'm not going to come and have a nice holiday meal with you because I know what you're about. It's real easy to grab a sign and go among a group of people who are all doing the same thing on one accord, right? And it is not easy to do that to the people in your own family. And I'm talking especially to y'all folks, okay? Because it's there's different intersections with people of color. But even for me, I am not participating in Thanksgiving this year because indigenous people have reminded me time and time again this holiday is just about genocide. It's whitewashing of the genocide that they experienced and essentially are continuing to experience because genocide is a long process. And to go to a holiday, sit around an abundant table and celebrate one genocide during another, both of which like the country that I live in and give my money and help to like are they're part of like that seems disgusting to me right now. It, it doesn't seem disgusting to you. Like, like how can you watch like people picking up pieces of people and like watching people drop bombs that have like, you know, made in the USA on them. Like, doesn't, are you okay watching that? And if you are, how? I try and be gentle a lot. And like, I, <laughs> there's a lot about me y'all don't know and will never, because that's just not how I do things. But you got to understand, I'm trying to make my messaging such that people can hear it. But I feel such disdain right now for the way that people are fighting hard for Palestine right now, but like they're just going to go and continue to do everything about their lives the same way and don't see the disconnect at all. Yes, it is aggressive. Yes, it will be awkward. Yes, it is strident. But also, if you aren't willing to literally stand up and walk the fuck out, if somebody says some shit that they are not willing to listen, hear about, retract on, move differently on in future. If you're not willing to do that, you're not about it either. And you are indeed complicit. Whatever it is that you think you are, what, the person that you think you are is not who you are if you won't put your money where your mouth is.